Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. And here is the national anthem of Peru. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. So we're up and running. Diaz. Cuellar. Cuellar. Zapata. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Andre Carrillo. <laughs> and that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And it's played forward. Gets into some space. He proceeds it all the way. Sorted that out. Zapata is flagged offside. Gets it upfield. And it's Zapata. Queer. Hits one! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Can he shoot? Hits one! And he's done it! And it's Colombia who take the lead.
I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Columbia break the deadlock yeah this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here Peru ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there forward it goes tried to play it through yeah I mean he, I think he did well to, to spot the run he just didn't get enough behind it it happens up towards the front line Zapata gets wrestled off the ball. The counter could be on here for Peru. Has he picked him out? It's come through. Chance! Sanchez tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Zapata. Zapata, he's had a go! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Duvan Zapata cannot be that slow, and it took the sting out of the break, and uh, a big chance wasted. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Over to the left. Massive leap! Good delivery, but no joy. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. That's not going to make it. Looks to dink one in. Out of play for a goal kick. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But what has still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Colombia come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And we're already back on the way here. Colombia carrying a one-goal lead. Come loose. Medina. Quadrado. Quadrado plays it forward. A heavy challenge. Peña drives it forward. Dinks one in. Cueva. Gets up to head it. Foul right on the edge of the box, it could go either way here. Well, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done.
it's Zapata. Played out to the right. Quadrado. Oh, nice touch. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. That's a throw. Tapia. Peru. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. And that's going to be a booking. La Patula! La Patula! It's in! Peru back on level terms! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. I just thought that was going to hit the outside of the post for a moment there, but it just curled enough to catch the inside for a very good strike. Peru grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Plays it out to the wing. And it's Lapadula. Just brushed off the ball there. Sanchez simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority, too. Wonderful. Hoists it forward. In comes the cross, up to meet it! It's there! And they've got their lead back! No space, no problem, you just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Colombia get themselves into the lead. Tapia. Tapia goes looking. It's being played forward. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And here's Quadrado. Quadrado. He's had a shot. And yes, it's there. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. 
I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Colombia, two up and into a position of real strength. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now, the only doubt is how many is coming. And here's Zapata, it's a loose ball. Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Quadrado! Decent hit from there. And here's Quadrado, gets the better of his man, Zapata. Well, that looks a foul, yep, referee's given it. Tepia loses his balance and loses the ball. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. And the through ball is intercepted. So that's it, it is all over. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control, they did enough to win it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and the lesson dealt. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom.